Hey guys, Wayna here and welcome back to Wayna's World where I'm bringing you guys tips and tools on how to create a space that you love. And guys, on this channel, I share a lot of home decor inspiration as well as DIY projects and ideas. So if that's something that you're interested in, then do yourself a favor and subscribe. This is the guest bathroom. It's cute and tiny. I like the high ceilings but um what are we doing basically going to change out the hardware as well as paint put a new light fixture um add some trim to this mirror and then do something above the toilet and new toilets are actually getting installed as well so have a lot to do so gotta get started All right, so I'm going with this light fixture and I purchased this from Amazon. It was about 86 bucks. Comes with all of the accessories as well as the light fixture. And I think it's gonna look really good with the existing vanity and faucet. So that's gonna go up there. And then I'm gonna trim out um, the mirror or frame the mirror with this wood here. And we'll be done. Add some hardware. Pretty up. Making progress. Now the budget for both of the bathrooms were $500 total. So we had a little bit of work to do and everything actually turned out really nice because I was able to turn to Amazon. This allowed me to change out the light fixture as well as upgrade the accessories in the bathroom which were completely outdated and as you can see they made huge holes in the walls so once I was finished painting everything white I had to patch the holes and then make sure that the holes were going to be consistent with the wall so yeah we had our work cut out for us the client ended up helping me paint which was really great and we went with the color bit of sugar and that was by bear and I chose a white because the bathroom was really small and when you add a nice bold white or any neutral light color, it just makes the space a little bit bigger versus going with a dark color and then making everything seem really small. So we did that and then we were able to get the bathroom to a neutral palette. I went ahead and installed the light fixture and as you can see, the mirror that she had wasn't framed whatsoever. And there was a really big gap in between the mirror and the light fixture. So when I changed out the light fixture, I ended up getting some really inexpensive wood from Home Depot. And then I cut that and painted it and it turned out really nice. I also went ahead and updated the cabinet hardware. We didn't paint this cabinet, it was already white. It just needed to have the contact paper removed and change out the hardware. And once everything was complete, then I just added a white shower curtain and a white towel over the toilet and a few accessories and pictures that the client already had. And we made a big, big difference, guys. This bathroom was under $100, literally. and it was needed because the other bathroom was so big so let's jump into that bathroom and I'll show you what I did over there all right so moving into the master bathroom we did a lot of changes here guys this bathroom is nice and long and has high ceilings as well so we started with the paint to lighten things up I kept with the same paint that we used in the other bathroom which was the bare and once we paint it again everything just looks so bright and open and the difference between the master and the guest bathroom is that we went ahead and painted the cabinet the vanity that is because it was a wood color and it just didn't tie in with the space it didn't make everything look bright and open like I wanted it to and that's the key when you're staging to resell you want to make sure that 
your space looks as large as possible because people pay for square footage and if it doesn't feel big then they probably won't want to put in an offer that's just my little tip okay so moving on i did the same thing i framed out the mirror as well as changed the light fixture and then i also added new hardware there was no hardware on the vanity in this bathroom so I added that as well as the client purchased a new toilet so it made the bathroom look a lot more modern and I went ahead and changed out the ceramic accessories that was in this bathroom also and changed them to a chrome to fit the existing fixtures in the bathroom I don't know if you guys can see on this picture well, the small pictures that I put in the guest bathroom were pictures that were in the master bathroom, but they were not the right scale for that part of the wall. So it kind of looked uh, out of place, but I was able to find artwork that the client had in another part of the home. And then I've just relocated it into this bathroom and it really, really, really brought the bathroom together. So I'm just very happy that it came out really nice. And if you guys forgot what the bedroom makeover uh, looked like in the closet, I'll show you guys so you can kind of get an idea. And then you can see what the bathroom looks like. So it really, really, really kind of all tied in the old design as well as the new design. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video, help somebody help somebody if you want to know how to change out a light fixture then i will link that video in the description box below as well so thanks always guys for watching my videos bye